And they're called decapods because they have five pairs of appendages that have different specialization depending on what the, the different species is, right? So we've got, in the lobster, we've got one, two, three, four pairs that are these walking legs, and then the fifth pair are its claws or its chelipeds. And then here in the crab, you essentially have the same thing. One, two, three, four sets of walking legs, and then you've got the chelipeds uh, for to catch food and stuff. Um, so the different decapods have different specialization of these five pairs of appendages. Some lobsters, actually all five sets, are walking legs, and they don't actually have any claws. Our lobsters here in South Florida, claws, are there, no claws, right? So people that come here from Maine and order lobster on the menu are very surprised when the lobster doesn't have big, beefy claws on it, right? So Maine lobsters are the ones that have claws like this. Um, you can see, like I just mentioned, that the abdomen and the crab, the tail portion is actually bent under and fused with the trunk of the cephalopod to the lobster very carefully. One of the cool things about these crustaceans is that a lot of them have handedness. Right? So this animal up at the top here is a stone crab. Uh, we have stone crabs here in South Florida. All oh, this is a big beefy one from Georgia. Um, and they often have their, their chelipeds, or their claws, have two different functions. You can see with this guy, he's got one big beefy bold claw here on the right, and one smaller claw here on the left. So essentially he has one big meaty crusher claw, and the second claw that acts more as a, a peeler or a cutter, right? So this big crusher claw can actually crush gastropods, um, can crush bivalves, and this cutter claw, or this peeler, actually peels those shells apart once the, the crusher claw breaks them up. So these crabs can either be essentially left-handed or right-handed, depending on where the big meaty claw is. Right? So that crusher claw. Come back to Alright, so the, the location of the their biggest claw tells you if they're essentially right-handed or left-handed. Um, the crustaceans are, are really diverse. A lot of really similar looking animals do pretty different things. You know, everything from burrowers in the sediment, um, there's some pelagic species. Um, just within the benthic crustaceans, you've got really important carnivores, like the blue crab that I just showed. You've got relatives, the fiddler crabs, that are almost completely herbivorous and detritivorous. So here's the fiddler crab here, there's this one big giant claw, and all these little balls of sand here are the balls that he's eaten, right? So this guy makes his living by, he'll stand around his, his little burrow, which is somewhere off to the side there, and essentially pick up sand and move that sand through his little mouth parts and graze off little seaweeds, little benthic diatoms. And he makes and deposits these little balls of sand in, in places where he's actually eaten the little benthic diatoms off the sand. Right? This guy's mostly an herbivore and a detritivore, and he makes these little sand ball deposits things out of the sand. Um, hands down, my favorite crustaceans are these guys. So these are stomata stomata